Kamusta kapatid? Magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang hapon, magandang gabi para sa kung anong oras mo man ito i-play. No? Uh, ako si Brother Lester from the Singles for Christ uh, Cluster 5, South A, Chapter C. And uh, nabibigay lang ako ng uh, konting refresher patungkol sa nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, no? But uh, before we start, uh, just allow me to with you, no? Uh, pray for our short session for this moment. In the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we will be talking about the nine spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit. May just allow us, Lord na maunawaan ito. May Diyos allow us, Lord, na maintindihan ito hanggang sa aming puso. May Diyos allow us, Lord, na makuha namin yung deeper and uh, true meaning ng spiritual gifts ng sa gayong Panginoon, not only for our personal consumption, but uh, when other people ask us about this topic, may we have uh, on our fingertips, Panginoon, yung, yung simple explanation on how we are taught of the spiritual gifts and of uh, how we will be able to uh, share these gifts and the understanding of these gifts to other people. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the Father, Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Siyempre, mga kapatid, mag-start tayo, no? Why do we have, or saan ang galing itong nine gifts of the Holy Spirit? These nine gifts of the Holy Spirit came from uh, St. Paul the Apostle which is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 8 to 11. No? So sinasabi ni St. Paul the Apostle dun sa verse na yon na merong siyam na regalo ang Banal na Spiritu Santo sa atin and from there makikita nyo na to one wisdom, to one knowledge, to one the discerning of the spirits, etc., etc., Meaning, uh, the, the scripture tells us na itong nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, merong tag-iisang nakatoka dyan for us, no? So, which is why, in the sixth session of the Christian Life Program of the Singles for Christ, entitled Empowered by the Spirit during the Pray Over, uh, we will be asking our participants and we will be uh, praying for the Spirit for our participants uh, for whatever gift of these nine yung kanilang gustong ma-receive from the Holy Spirit. Diba? Okay, so let's start with the first. Yun lang, na-discuss ko lang briefly kasi baka matanong kayo ng participants natin and other people na nine gifts, isan ba nang galing yan? So at least alam natin yung biblical foundation ng nine spiritual gifts. So let's start I want to start with the gift of faith. Now, mga kapatid, pag sinabi natin gift of faith, syempre sa Tagalog, pananampalataya. But, kuya, brother, meron naman kaming pananampalataya. Why do we still have to ask for this gift of faith? Sabi nga sa Bible, di ba? Minsan, natitest yung ating faith. Minsan, nawawalan tayo ng faith. Di ba? Pag sinabi natin nawawalan tayo ng faith, minsan, yan yung mga salitang pag lumalabas sa bibig natin na, bahala na. Yung salita kasi yung bahala na, madalas kinokonek natin na bahala na si Batman. Mabuti kung sinasabi natin, bahala na si Lord. Diba? Pag sinabi natin, bahala na si Lord, yan yung faith. Pero pag sinabi natin na, bahala na si Batman, kung anong pagkain bukas, kung may pagkain ba bukas, kung anong ano. So, ibig sabihin nun, no, nakawalan ka ng faith because inaasa mo yung mga bagay-bagay sa hindi pang Panginoon. No? But in this gift of faith, we have to explain to our brothers and sisters that this gift of faith, when we ask this from the Holy Spirit, this is total acceptance that there is a will from the Lord. This is total surrender of God's plans for us, whatever these may be. Total surrender. Total acceptance. Total reliance on what the Lord has instilled, on what the Lord has carved, on what the Lord has written for us, for each and every one of us. So, pag sinabi natin faith, increasing our faith, 
this is the gift of faith. Pag hiningi mo to sa Holy Spirit, pag hiningi mo to sa Panginoon, ito yung regalo na makapag uh, papakalma dapat sa ating mga puso't isipan. Because whatever tomorrow may bring, hindi man natin alam yung bukas. But with the gift of faith, alam natin na, the, na whatever tomorrow brings, it will be from the Lord. Because we because uh, we believe that He has beautiful plans for us. And that He we believe with through this gift of faith na hindi tayo iiwan at pababayaan ng Panginoon. Gaano man kabigat ang sitwasyon, gaano man kalungkot ang sitwasyon, gaano man ka, kanawalan sa isang sitwasyon, gaano ka man umiyak sa isang sitwasyon, there will be a brighter tomorrow through this gift of faith. Because you so you surrender totally to the plans and to the will of the Lord. Amen? Then na tayo sa gift of faith. Let us now go with the gift of healing. Now, with your brothers and sisters, kapag sinabi natin gift of healing, syempre, sa Tagalog, pagpapagaling. So, when we ask this from the Holy Spirit, when we ask this from the Lord, this gift of healing will allow an individual, through the Spirit, And through prayers, to to pray specially for the quick recovery, for the healing of another person. Now, Brother Lester, what does this healing mean? No, This healing does not only mean physical healing. Ito yung kinagandahan ng gift of healing from the Holy Spirit. Because this gift of healing is uh, multifunctional. This gift of healing is for every dimension of a person's life. So, when we ask for the gift of healing, the Lord will grant us this spiritual gift that whenever we pray for, not only for ourselves, and this is not really for ourselves, because, di ba, sabi nga ng Panginoon, dapat yung regalo ko sa inyo, <coughs> sorry, pinamamahagi sa iba. So, this gift of healing, uh, when we ask for this gift of healing, the Lord expects us to use this gift for other people. And what does this gift of healing uh, entail, no? So, kapag tayo ay nagdasal para sa ibang tao, through the Spirit of the Lord, yung ating dasal ay magkakaroon ng extra buff, kumbaga, no? So, because you ask for the gift of healing. Because this gift of healing can help other people heal or improve or be better on whatever it is na pinagdadaanan nila. So, ano ibig sabihin? Hindi lang physical. Kasi syempre, may healing na physical. Kasama yon with your brothers and sisters. But still, we can pray for the healing of those who are hurt. We can pray for the healing of those who are crying. We can pray for the healing of those who are uh, alone. We can pray for the healing of those who are longing for someone. We can pray for the healing of those who are longing for something. We can pray for the healing of those uh, persons that uh, are sick or that are weak at the moment, not only on their physical, but on their mental, exhausted, on their spiritual, uh, na natatabangan sa pananampalataya. So those kinds, no? Spiritual, mental, not only physical, pati social healing, no? Kasi may mga tao na uh, traumatized, humarap sa ibang tao, may mga tao na sobrang mahiyain, may mga taong biglang nawawala ng confidence na magsalita sa ibang tao, humarap sa ibang tao. So, through this <coughs> gift of healing with your brothers and sisters, uh, we are empowered by the Spirit. We will be empowered by the Spirit to pray for them for their quick recovery of their <coughs> multidimensional na pangangailangan ng pagpapagaling. Now, for the gift of miracles. Itong gift of miracles, mga kapatid, ay uh, may pagkakahalintulad sa gift of, uh, sa miracles na, na uh, uh, <coughs> kinuwento sa atin ng Biblia, no? So, ano-ano yung mga milagro sa Biblia? Jesus is turning of uh, the uh, water into wine, the parting of the Red Sea, uh, yung raising from the dead, 
Yan, yun yung mga ba, yun yung mga miracles na nakalagay sa Biblia. Ngayon, Kuya Lester, uh, with this gift of miracles, would we be able to do the same? My humble answer is that it is possible. Why? Because with with God, everything and anything is possible. Diba? Amen tayo doon. And the gift of miracles, gift of miracle, is coming from the Lord through the Holy Spirit. Meaning, that when we ask for the gift of miracle, it will not be us performing miracles, but we will be used by the Lord to continue uh, His magic, to continue His mission, to continue His grace, to continue the uh, showing and the manifestation of how great He is, of how great His powers are sa mundong ito. Sapagkat dahil wala nang Panginoong Jesus at nasa langit ang, ang Diyos Ama, with this gift of miracles, the Lord will use you, the Lord will use us to continue making miracles in this world through you, through us, brothers and sisters. So whatever that may be, whatever miracle the Lord wants to have at a certain point, at a certain moment, at a certain event, when you ask for the gift of miracles, it may be done by the Lord through you. That being said, ibig sabihin, yung gift of miracles ay not for self-serving motives lang. The gift of miracles is for the benefit of all, or if not all, most people. No, So it's not for you. It's not for us. But the gift of miracle is most especially for other people. Because that's how Jesus performed miracles when He was still in this world. Okay? Whatever those miracles may be. Pwede rin miracle through healing. Okay? Kaya minsan nag-overlap at nagkakaroon ng question, Kuya, ano ba pinagkaiba ng miracle sa healing, no? Pwede, ang miracle ay, ay pwede healing. Pwede rin. Okay? Pwede rin. Diba? Uh, sige, bigay tayo example. Gift of miracle, diba? Halimbawa, uh, ang naipamilengke para sa isang event, yan ito lang. Nung dumating na participant, imbis na expected ay 40, bigla naging 70. Paano mangyayari? So, when you have the gift of miracles, no? Posible na by the grace of the Lord, yung nagluluto, uh, makaisip siya ng luto. Imbis na yung luto na nauna, ay yung luto na with the given recados, ay kakasya for 70 people. So, yun yun. Isa sa example ng gift of miracle. Okay? Next is, the gift of knowledge. My dear brothers and sisters, the gift of knowledge, uh, ang knowledge sa uh, Filipino ay kaalaman. No? So, pag sinabi natin kaalaman, ito ay, uh, sasabihin ko sana kung ito ay knowledge, ito ay kaalaman. So, pag sinabi natin knowledge, ito ay kaalaman. Meaning, kaalaman hindi lamang sa mga makamundong bagay, hindi lamang sa pag-iisip na meron ng isang tao, bagkus ito ay kaalaman na nanggagaling sa Panginoon, no? Uh, maaaring ito ay kaalaman sa mga nakasulat sa Biblia, kaalaman sa pang- pangangaral ng Panginoon, pang- uh, kaalaman sa kung ano yung mga nararapat na gawin. Kasi pag sinabi natin knowledge, ito yung uh, dapat na meron tayo para mas maun- para ma- mas al- mas alam natin kung paano gawin ang isang bagay, mas maunawaan natin ang isang bagay. Example kuya, mayroon kasi medyo magpaliwanag ng concepts, ano? Tapos pinipilit nating gawing Filipino para mas madali. Uh, pag sinabi nating halimbawang knowledge, yan, the knowledge how to drive a car, no? For example, may sasakyan, okay yung sasakyan. Paano ka matututo? Paano ka makakapagmaneho ng sasakyan? You must have to possess the knowledge on how to drive a car. Ganon din mga kapatid sa ating ministry. no? You are given the task of being a household leader. You are given the task of being a prayer leader. You have, you have been given the task of being a team leader. So, hindi mo yun magagampanan unless you have this gift of uh, knowledge. No, yung kaalaman kung papaano iyon gawin. Eh kuya, may, eh, ba, bakit pa kami mag-ask ng knowledge? Kung meron naman palang mga nasa YouTube or nasa Google, kung papaano. No, no, my dear brothers and sisters, dito papasok that the gift of knowledge is coming from the Holy Spirit. It comes from the Lord. Meaning, this gift of knowledge 
ay manggagaling sa eternal na pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng kaalaman sa mundo. Meaning, ang kaalaman na hihingin mo sa Panginoon to the Holy Spirit is a biblical, is a divine knowledge. So, lagit-lagi ito may kinalaman sa uh, ating pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Panginoon. So, most especially, this will be knowledge from what the Lord knows. This will be knowledge from what the Lord wants us to know. And this will be knowledge on what the Lord wants us to have or to possess in order for us to speak through, to, in order for us to speak in behalf or on behalf of the Lord, no? So, we will be speaking on behalf of the Lord, but we have to possess this gift of knowledge so that whatever it is, whatever those words na lalabas sa ating mga labi will be coming from a divine wisdom which is coming from the Lord, okay? Now, what is the gift of wisdom? Nasa panlima na tayo mga kapatid, no? So, the gift of wisdom sa Tagalog ng wisdom ay karunungan, dunong, okay? So, what is wisdom? Kuya, Ano ho ang pinagkaiba ng wisdom sa knowledge? Okay, that's a good question. Now, pag sinabi ho nating wisdom, for example, kanina ang paliwanag ko sa inyo ay the knowledge of how to drive a car. Now, papasok po dito mga kapatid yung wisdom o yung karunungan sa ganitong aspeto. Kapag ikaw ay nag-driving school, magkakaroon ka ng knowledge on how to drive a car. Pero, That does not necessarily imply, hindi otomatiko na ikaw ay merong wisdom on how to drive a car. Now, in terms of driving a car, how would you have wisdom? My personal opinion is that you will have the proper wisdom on how to drive a car through experience. Experience by driving and experience by watching other people how to drive. Now, Punta tayo sa spiritual gift na, no? Hindi na yung worldly wisdom. Punta na tayo sa spiritual gift of wisdom. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is the gift of the Holy Spirit for us to be able to determine what the proper move we have to do sa isang given situation. Okay? Gets ba? For example, you will be confronted by... Uh, this or that situation, ito ba or ito ang dapat gawin, ito ba or ito ang dapat piliin. When we possess and when we ask the Holy Spirit from the Lord for this gift of wisdom, we would be able to identify which move, which option to choose among these two, among these many other options because this wisdom is coming from the divine wisdom. Meaning, Whatever it is na kailangan nating pagpilian, whatever it is na kailangan nating gawin, when we ask for the gift of wisdom, hindi lang natin basta alam, no? Yung knowledge, alam mo lang. Pero itong wisdom, marami kang alam or alam, may mga iba't ibang kaalaman na nasa harapan mo, na nasa lamesa mo. But you will be torn because it is as if that lahat ng options ay okay naman. It, it would be as if as lahat ng nakalatag ay mukhang maayos naman. But through the gift of wisdom coming from the Holy Spirit, you will be able to properly determine which is better among the rest, which is better among those two. Kasi itong karunungan ay application of knowledge. Okay? So dahil kapag meron ka ng knowledge, alam mo na, binigyan ka ng knowledge ng ibang tao, pinaalam sa'yo, the gift of wisdom will help you determine, the gift of wisdom will help you choose which is the best or which is better among those options through the will and the wisdom of the Lord. Next, pang-ani mga kapatid ay yung gift of prophecy. When we say gift of prophecy, Tagalog syempre, di ba, galing doon, prophesia. This is the gift wherein the Lord will use you again because lahat naman ng gifts na to, no, magpapagamit dapat tayo sa Panginoon. But this prophecy will, uh, in this gift of prophecy, the Lord will use you to unfold mysteries for other people. This gift of prophecy will uh, allow us to be a vessel of the Lord's words. This gift of prophecy will allow us to be used by the Lord to unfold or uh, to to bring about a message, a plan for other people, for the community, for our chapter, for the cluster, 
for your diocese, for your parish, for your diocese, whatever it is. Kung ano man yung propesya, kung ano man yung uh, mangyayari, marapat na mangyari, na nais ng Panginoong iparating sa iyong mga kasamahan, sa iyong mga kaibigan, sa iyong mga kapatid, ito ay pararatingin ng Panginoon sa kanila at sa inyong lahat sa pamamagitan mo. Because the gift of prophecy, ito ay ito yung common na gift na if you were uh, listening no sa sa mga teachings and sa first and second readings no sa ating holy mass nagsasalita ang mga nagsasalita ang mga propeta no so yung mga sinaunang tao most especially yung mga taong nabuhay bago ang pagpa, bago ang kapanganakan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo So, they prophesized that a Messiah will be born in Bethlehem. Diba? They prophesized that the Lord will come and He uh, he will be born in a manger. He will be born by a virgin. He will be born in this world like a man, like a human being. Yun, yun yung mga, yun yung mga prophecies to. No, bumaba rin yung anghel. Sabi kay Maria, di ba? Ikaw ay magdadalang tao. At ito ay tatawagin anak ng Diyos. At ito ang magliligtas, siya ang magliligtas sa sanlibutan. So, yun yung mga prophecies na example sa Bible. And kapag ikaw ay meron itong at ng hingi at sa Holy Spirit ng gift, itong gift of, gift of prophecy, you will be used by the Lord to unfold mysteries for other people. Mysteries na not in a bad way, ha? Yung mysteries meaning good plans, good future uh, uh, next moves for other people through you. Okay? Nasa pampito na tayo mga kapatid. For the gift of discernment or the discerning of the spirits. Uh, pag sinabi natin discernment, the, this gift, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, will uh, help us in order for us to determine whether someone or something or uh, a move or an action is from the Lord, from the person itself only, or mas crucial if it is from the evil spirits. Okay, sige. Tagalogin natin. Mga kapatid, itong gift of discernment, kapag hiningi mo to sa Panginoon, tayo, ikaw, ako at ikaw, kayo, tayo ay magtutulungan ng Panginoon na mawari kung ang isa bang tao o ang ginagawa ng isang tao ay galing ba sa kanya, sa Diyos, meaning, o galing lang sa salita ng taong yon meaning, walang anointing from the Lord, walang blessing from the Lord. I mean, alam mo yun, hindi, hindi niya pinagdasal yung ginagawa niya, hindi, hindi anchored sa Biblia yung ginagawa niya, hindi, hindi niya sinangguni sa Panginoon yung pinagsasasabi niya. So, So, through this gift of discernment, malalaman mo if a message, if a person, if an action is from the Lord or from this person only, perhaps, maybe, maaari, meron siyang selfish reason, di ba? Kuno-kuno, ginagamit niya ang salita ng Diyos. But with the gift of discernment, you would feel, you would know, you would be guided by the Spirit if that person or if the message of that person is coming really from the Lord or from that person's mouth and mind only na walang walang kahit na anong uh, anointing from the Lord no and much worse malalaman mo rin kapatid to this gift of discernment kung ang isang tao kung ang mensahe ng isang tao o kung ang ginagawa ng isang tao ay galing mas masakit mas masama ay galing sa kalaban galing sa demonyo no you would know because this gift of discernment will grant you that spirit that blessing na magigets mo, mararamdaman mo na yung taong yun yung sinasabi ng taong yun yung ginagawa ng taong yun ay galing ba to kay Lord? Sinasabi lang ba to ng mga labi niya? Well, perhaps gusto niya magpabida, gusto niya gusto niya magpag, magpa-impress sa tao lang. Or much worse, kung ginagamit ba siya ng kalaban para sabihin tong mga salitang to para gawin yung mga actions na to. So, hindi siya galing sa sarili niya at hindi rin siya galing sa Diyos kasi nga galing siya sa kalaban. So, that's the beauty of the gift of discernment. You would know if a person is lying, if a person is true, if a person is 
guided by the spirit if a person is bida bida if a person is uh motivated by selfish reasons or if a, if a person is being used by the devil or if the person is being truly used by the by by God by the by the Holy Spirit and by the Lord Jesus Christ to to give us this message to show us this action okay okay I done and uh if a uh, gift of the Holy Spirit my dear brothers and sisters is the gift of tongues no kapag tinanong tayo ng mga hindi masyadong nakauunawa Uh, kuya, ate, what is the gift of tongues? No? So, gamitan natin, pasukan natin ng isang biblical story. So, the gift of tongues, my dear brothers and sisters, came from the Pentecost Sunday. Now, Kuya Lester, konting history po. Uh, ano nga ba ulit? Refrefer lang. Ano nga po ba ulit yung uh, Pentecost Sunday? So, this Pentecost Sunday happened when Jesus Christ died. Ano, nung namatay siya sa, cru- sa cruz, nung hindi pa siya anong ah, nung hindi pa siya nakakakit sa langit nung 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 namatay ang Panginoong Hesus Kristo sa langit ah, sa 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 krus dito sa lupa nagkaroon ng pagkakataon yung mga apostoles niya na natakot na naggather sila sa isang room tapos natakot sila ah, nagiikot yung mga sundalo nagiikot yung mga tao so sila naman ah, natakot sila kasi nga they they used to have this leader this this person this Jesus Christ whom uh, their strength comes from no so so nung namatay ang Panginoong Hesus ang mga apostoles ay natakot ang mga apostoles ay nawala ng lakas ng loob ang mga apostoles ay naduwag ang mga apostoles ay nabahag ang buntot okay so Nung nangyari itong itong yung pagkakataon na nag na nagsar na natakot sila nang nawala na ang Panginoon natakot yung mga apostoles nagsara sila ng pinto nagsara ng bintana all of a sudden the holy spirit came no so through the tongues of fire so di ba kung makikita niyo may mga picture na or may mga picture may mga painting sa internet or sa mga bahay or sa sa church na merong mga maliliit na apoy sa ibabaw ng mga nung 12 apostles no so that was the uh, that was the Pentecost Sunday so nung pagkakataon na yon nung nagkaroon ng apoy dito sila so the the gift of the, the Holy Spirit came down upon them and told them not to be afraid because although Jesus Christ was not physically there the promise of the Lord is that after Jesus Christ after those 33 years of physical existence here on earth ng ng Panginoong Hesus ang hindi tayo iniwan ng Panginoon sapagkat ang pumalit ay ang Espiritu Santo no bumaba ang banal na Espiritu Santo that Pentecost Sunday and do, that Pentecost Sunday nang bumaba ang Espiritu Santo nagulat silang lahat the 12 apostles because they were able to speak foreign languages no they were able to speak languages that they do not understand they were able to speak different languages that neither of any of them could decipher could comprehend no so dito nagmula yung gift of tongues so when we explain this to other people uh, mga kapatid this gift of tongues uh, would allow us coming from the lord no would allow us to pray to him directly but using uh, various sounds using various words uh, ko ano man no gagamit tayo ng salitang hindi natin nauunawaan gagamit tayo ng magbibigkas tayo ng mga tunog na hindi natin naiintindihan na kung akala mo ay walang kahulugan salitang walang kahulugan sound na walang kahulugan but this hindi natin maunawaan and this seemingly walang kabuluhang salita is a form of prayer this is the gift of tongues coming from the spirit that allows us to communicate directly from our hearts to the Lord without anyone as a general rule without anyone understanding kuya bakit kailangan natin ng gift of tongues bakit kailangan nating mag ng words and sounds that anyone would not understand kung pwede namang diretsyo mag-pray 
because my dear brothers and sisters the magic and the beauty of this gift of tongues is that the prayers that we send send to the lord through the gift of tongues would not be understandable even by the devil oh, diba? so pag sinabi natin even by the devil meaning wala talagang makagugulo walang makahahad lang walang makapuputol sa iyong panalangin patungo sa ating Panginoong Diyos sapagkat walang sino man kahit pa ang demonyo hindi nila mauunawaan ang dasal mo meaning diretso sa Panginoon at puso mo kapatid, puso mo puso nang nanghingi ng gift of tongue patungo sa Panginoon, diretso shortcut walang manggugulo kahit pa ang demonyo hindi nila mauunawaan ang dasal mo sa Diyos because the gift of tongues will allow you to be in that prayerful mode which is deeper than the usual prayer mode that we are typically in. Okay? Now, dito na tayo sa panghuli, the interpretation of tongues. Ang sinabi ko kanina, the general rule when we pray using the gift of tongues from the Spirit is that walang makauunawa but this interpretation of tongues ito naman yung exception to the general rule sa gift of tongues because when an individual is has prayed and has been given the gift of the interpretation of tongues kuya, paano naman namin maiintindihan kung various sounds lang native, uh, foreign languages or Or, or words that seemingly do not have meanings, paano namin maiintindihan? Kapatid, hindi mo talaga maiintindihan because sounds lang yon, because words yon na walang meaning. But, hindi naman sinabi dito na understanding of tongues, ba? Diba? Ang sabi dito ay interpretation of tongues. Meaning, the mood of the mood, the mood, M-O-O-D, the mood of the spirit, the mood of the prayer, you would be able to interpret if the praying of the tongues is to inspire, the praying of the tongues is uh, for asking for forgiveness, if the praying of the tongues is for uh, thanksgiving, no, you would be able to interpret uh, the praying of the tongues na mararamdaman mo, mararamdaman mo yung sounds and yung words na yun, kung ano yung, kung ano yung uh, leading ng spirit doon. No? So, it's a bit complicated mga kapatid kahit man yung mga inaral kong articles and inaral kong uh, videos explaining this gifts of the Holy Spirit. Medyo mahirap talaga mo unawaan yung tongues and yung interpretation of tongues. Well, yung tongues medali because of the Pentecost Sunday. But yung interpretation of tongues really, uh, we will not be able to comprehend word per word kung ano yung dasal because sabi ko nga, kahit demonyo hindi yan maiintindihan but the interpretation of tongues will allow us will allow you na by the heart and by the spirit no, would be able to in, would be able to interpret the message the mood of the praying of the tongues okay so nakasham na tayo mga kapatid and it has now been 33 minutes ang galing no kasi 33 years si Lord na nabuhay sa mundo so allow me to close this with a prayer Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen, Lord, thank you sa pinagsamahan naming 33 minutes. Allow us, Lord, to, to be able to fully grasp this concept by your Spirit. And sana po kapag kami inatanong ng mga kapatid namin, tukos sa nine gifts, ay kahit hindi man po lahat ng mensaheng nandito ang masabi namin ay kung ano po yung manggaling sa inyo at kung ano po yung basic na natutunan namin dito, we will be able to share this to other people, most especially those who are doubting you, Panginoon. Alright? Is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Paalam mga kapatid. God bless you. Good luck. Bye-bye.